Hello and welcome to Comic Drake, where I talk about comic books, my name is Drake. I know this channel mostly focuses on Marvel and DC, but I hate that I'm so pigeonholed into only talking about superhero comics. I actually really like quite a few indie titles, but I'm pretty much just stuck on this branding like, oh, here's a Batman video, here's an Iron Man video. I want to talk about more, man. There's so many good slice of life books. There's good superhero books from indie creators. And today I want to talk to you about an app called Webtoon. It has a bunch of different comics that are all original and exclusive to their platform. Admittedly, I will say this straight up, this is a sponsored video. They did pay for this. However, the financial security of, oh, I'm at least getting paid for this ad, makes it to where I can still talk about indie books and not take as big of a financial hit that I normally would. And also being said, I'm not being paid for a positive review. I actually use the platform myself and I really do like what's on there. So today I want to talk to you about a video game. Well, it's not really a manga. It's not really a comic. It's kind of its own thing. But yeah, it is called Let's Play and it is about a freaking YouTube creator and an indie developer and their relationship and how that all works together. It's fascinating. Let's take a look. This series is made by an artist that goes by Mongi. You might recognize her art style from all of the art that she's made for Markiplier. It's about a fledgling indie developer named Sam Young who made her first game to modest success. That is, until a big VTuber did a let's play of the game and trashed it, causing thousands of fans to drop negative reviews and essentially kill Sam's career before it even started. What's worse, it turns out that the next day, he moved in right next door and hilarity ensues. So that right there is an interesting premise. It really hits home for me since I'm an aspiring indie game developer myself, and of course it also speaks to me as a content creator, especially since I got my start making gaming videos. While Marshall isn't the focus of the series, I can relate to stuff like trying to be better about what I say to my audience, the depression of having such a public life, the exhaustion of overworking, and dear god, seeing just how loud Marshall is when he records is a very real fear that I have as a content creator, especially when I stream. From the get-go, Let's Play does a good job of showing how mindless and toxic fan bases can be. It's great to show that all of the hate that was sent Sam's way wasn't entirely Marshall's fault. His fans took it upon themselves to make her life a living hell, and the very real struggle about how to address it is a real pickle that any content creator stuck in that position has to go through. Now, all of this being said, most of Let's Play actually doesn't focus on the Let's Player. If you know me, romance and slice of life are some of my favorite genres out there, which this totally is. There's a lot of focus on the other men in Sam's life, each with their own compelling reasons as to why she should date them, stuff that she doesn't actually notice due to her hardcore social anxiety. One thing that I especially enjoy is how the writer straight up said that this isn't a Cupid's Arrow story, where the main character instantly falls in love. The romance develops over time in a more natural way. Heck, I'm caught up on the 45 episodes that are currently out, and we're only just now getting some actual payoff. Now, outside of the love and stuff, the supporting cast is also extremely compelling, especially Sam's core group of friends that make up her MMO guild. Sometimes there's a bit of excessive gamer talk, which can be a little cringeworthy, but let's be honest, it's pretty realistic and it's just as cringy in real life as well, but that doesn't stop a bunch of people from spouting it out anyway. It's also worth mentioning that this book is just plain funny too. In similar works, all of the jokes are generally just, hey look, it's a video game, but a lot of the comedy here plays off of characters' personalities more than anything else. And also, all of the character personalities are really well-defined and pretty three-dimensional. Granted, it is very manga-inspired, so a lot of the gags are in that vein, but as a former weeaboo, it's right up my alley. Oh, and don't worry, there's also plenty of fan service if that's your thing. Like, there's a gratuitous amount for both men and women. The book even explicitly calls itself out for giving men opportunities to be shirtless in order to help bring in a female demographic. That would certainly explain why pretty much every male character is jacked. Hell, even the Let's Player has a six pack. I know quite a few YouTubers, and let me just say, most of them do not have that going on. Regardless, I really do think this series is a lot of fun and worth reading. It's still ongoing, and a lot of plot points are still up in the air. But if this seems like something you'd be interested in, then just remember that it is exclusive to Webtoon, and it is free to read on their website or app, 
along with dozens of other series that are updated every single day. So just click that link in the description to get started. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I do enjoy Webtoon despite the fact that they are a sponsor, and there are other titles that I do want to talk about, even if I'm not getting paid to do them. If this was a type of video that you like, then please let me know. Maybe I can do other indie publishers, more Webtoons, I don't know, something that isn't just Marvel, DC, superheroes, bad guy punching. So let me know what you guys think down there in the comments below. And even share this video around. The more views I get, the more likely I'm going to make another video like this. But if you like this video, then why not consider subscribing or even watching another one? I haven't made a lot of indie videos, but I have made a few. I'm going to put them all on a playlist, and if you want something that isn't your normal superhero fare, maybe give those a watch. But anyway, I hope you learned at least a little something new, and hopefully, I'll see you next time.